What is up everybody, Dark Ghoul here, back at it again with another video, but in today's video, we got ourselves something really, really special, and that is Pokemon Ultra Force Booster Box right here, and you're probably wondering, what on earth is this? Now, this is the equivalent to Forbidden Light, the brand new set after Ultra Prism, and it's gonna be amazing guys it's gonna be amazing however this box kind of threw me off a little bit because i saw some reprints like this turtwig and some other pokemon that i've seen before on ultra prism but that is because a lot of the pokemon from ultra prism are going to be getting basically type reprints or alternative typing like Polkia and dialga Polkia is going to be a water type in this set dialga is going to be a metal type in this set or a steel type i should say but this is a japanese booster box and if you're wondering where i got this box i got it from ebay because y'all already know ebay is the plug ebay is the plug for everything that you need however you got to be careful when you're on ebay because you can never know what's gonna happen you feel me but i think i got this box for like around 40 dollars or something like that because it's brand new obviously the prices are gonna be high up there and as time goes by they're gonna decrease down but for right now they're around 40 bucks or so and there's 20 packs in this box and five cards in each pack i believe they're all hollow foil correct me if i'm wrong but i remember reading up on something on the post on ebay saying something about all hollow foils or something like that so without further ado guys i forgot this dude's name this is an Ultra Beast. It's one of the more rare Ultra Beasts. Well, you get it as a gift in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But I forgot the dude's name. I'm sorry. If you guys remember this guy's name, let me know in the comments down below. Because it's in Japanese. I don't remember it. I haven't played enough with this Pokemon to remember the name. Because I usually remember names when I play the games or when I open a brand new set. You feel me? Because when I play the games, I bond with the Pokemon. I read their names like constantly when I'm beating them in battle. Because y'all already know your boy is an expert. But yeah, I forgot this Ultra Beast's name. Now, there are alternative Ultra Beasts in this set as well, but they're just regular cards. So you know how you see Alolan Ninetales, Alolan Executor, you're going to see Ultra Beast, you know, Buzzwell, Ultra Beast, etc. You feel me? So without further ado, guys, if you are hyped for today's video, go ahead and smash that like button right now because if this video reaches 1000 likes i will give away basically a bunch of the japanese cards from here because you guys already know i don't collect foreign cards so i'd rather give them out to some of you guys that actually collect you know japanese cards korean cards and stuff like that this is all just opening for fun and besides it's a brand new set so your boy actually wants to open something that's brand new you feel me and i've never opened up like a japanese booster box on the channel let alone off camera like i've never opened up a japanese booster box but make sure you guys subscribe enjoy the cool army and welcome i'm currently getting a brand new computer because my old one had some issues well not my old one but my new one that i got had issues so now i gotta return it and get a different one because y'all already know the complications your boy's a simple guy like i am a simple guy however Everything becomes complicated in my life. I have no idea why. Like, I'm a simple person. I just want something that does what it does and does what it do. That made no sense, but just go with it. But finally, make sure you guys turn on that bell for post notifications just so you never miss a video. And without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and unwrap this and let's see what we get, man. Like I said, I've never opened up a Japanese booster box. And one thing is for sure... This thing, oh my god, I cannot open this. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got it, we got it. But as I was saying, one thing is for sure, these boxes are tiny. They are absolutely tiny, guys. Let me grab my sleeves real quick. I got penny sleeves right now because I ran out of the perfect fit sleeves, but it's all good. They do the same purpose. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and open this box and let's see all of its glory. Oh my god, how do you open this? Yo, I'm tripping right now. I am tripping. Oh my god, that almost cut me. What the heck? Come on. Come on. Open. Open sesame. Okay, we got it. We got it, guys. Let's prop it open and let's check that out. Check that out, guys. That looks absolutely amazing. Then we got an advertisement right here. Actually, wait. That's not an advertisement. That's how the booster boxes are. Okay, so now it is officially opened and check out this artwork. We got Necrozma in the cut, we got Duskmane and Dawn Wings, and then we got the Ultra Beast, which is a poison and dragon type, if I'm correct. 
But like I said, I forgot the name. And these are five card packs, meaning there is not a lot of cards in these packs. It is absolutely crazy. But it is what it is, guys. We're going to open the entire box in this video, hoping to get some heat. So let's get into this, man. If I forget some of the Pokemon's name, I'm sorry. Like, I'm so sorry, but it's going to happen. You feel me? So how is the pack trick going to work? What? We already got a GX. Oh, my God. These are all holofoils. Yo. These are all holofoils. But check out this Polkia GX. Like I told you guys, it's a water type. So in this set, and there's police sirens coming through. Like, really? You guys are going to mess up my precious video just because someone is doing a crime? You feel me? Like, you're going to do that to me? Okay, I'm going to stop. But like I said, Polkia and Dialga get alternative types in this set. In this case, Polkia being a water type, which is more necessary because there is no double dragon energy and it's hard to, you know, power up your dragon types and whatnot. So let's go ahead and put that to the side. I'm sorry I didn't get hype for it, but I wasn't expecting that. But we got a Misprit reverse. I don't even know if these are reverses. Ooh, that energy though. These are all hollows. I'm gonna have to sleeve up every single card from this set, guys. Yo, that's crazy, man. If they're all hollows, I swear, I'm gonna be a happy guy. I'm gonna be happy that I bought this box because usually when I get Japanese sets, I expect a lot in return for some reason. So it's gonna be one to the front is the pack trick for these packs. Alrighty, guys. We got a Buzzwool GX. Why did I say GX? This is just a Buzzwool. Like I said, guys, some of the Ultra Beasts in this set are just regular cards, as you can see right here. I'm pretty sure it says Ultra Beast on this little line right there. But check that out, guys. That looks sick. I'm going to be real with you. We got Snover, Gabi. Like I said, they're getting alternative typings. We got a Lightning Energy and a Frying Pan. Your boy gonna cook them eggs with this frying pan, you feel me? Do you want scrambled or regular eggs, you feel me? Okay, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. That's a frying pan, that is crazy. I forget some of the names of these trainer cards because I didn't do too much research on this set. You know, I'm kind of just going blind here. Ooh, that cute Piplup though. That cute Piplup though. Ooh, we got these guys. What are they called again? The Ultra Recon Squad. I'm pretty sure that's their name because they're so annoying in the games, honestly. Like, it's unnecessary to have them in the games. We got a fighting energy, and then we got... Yo, this is an ultra beast ring, or an ultra ring, or beast ring. I'm pretty sure it's a beast ring. But yo, check out the artwork on that card. That looks sick. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. That looks absolutely sick right there. But I'm curious on what it does, because... I don't know. It looks like it'll be beneficial to the Ultra Beast cards. The fact that the artwork looks cool, that just grabs my attention all the way. But we got a Polkia GX, guys. I want to get like a secret rare or something. But we got Obama. Oh, oh, Obama Snow. I'm pretty sure it was a water type in the Ultra Prism set. And now it's a grass type. Like, I'm 100% sure it was a water type. So we got a Primplup, Metal Energy. Ooh, we got a Dusk Main. No, this is Dawn Wings the Crosma. I keep getting them confused, but I'm just gonna call it Lunala. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm just gonna call it Lunala because it's extra calling it, you know, Dawn Wings the Crosma, Dusk Main the Crosma. I'm just gonna call it Dawn Wings. Oh my God, I almost dropped these cards. Yo, yo, yo. I do not want to damage these Japanese cards. We got a B string in the cut, y'all. We got a Magneton. What? It's an electric type now? That's crazy. We got a Araquanid. No, this is Dupider. Why did I say Araquanid? I have no idea. But we got a Dialga GX. Yes. This is a perfect example of what I'm talking about, guys. Let's go ahead and put that into sleep first before I talk about it. But like I said, in the original Ultra Prism set, they were Dragon types. Now, the typing is their secondary because Dialga is originally a Steel and Dragon and Polkia is originally a Water and Dragon in the games and whatnot. So now they're getting their alternative typing because they originally have two typings, you know, in the games and whatnot. So let's keep on going, man. This is exciting. Oh my gosh. I actually need to grab some scissors to open these up because I'm like knocking down the bulk left and right. So I need to chill with that. I need to chill with that. We got Ultra Space, I believe is the name. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yo, there it is. Oh my God, I forgot this Ultra Beast's name. I think it's like Poplio. No, that is a freaking starter. I think it starts with a P. Oh my God, it frustrates me when I can't remember. It really frustrates me. But we got a Steel Energy and we got a Lucario Full Art. 
Let's get it. Let's get it, man. Oh my god. We got a Lucario full art. Yo, look at that. Oh my god. This card is beautiful. Shouts out to Lucario, man. You got a GX. You made it. You officially made it, Lucario. And make sure you guys pick up the brand new Lucario GX box that's dropping. Because that is basically the regular art. And then we got the full art right here. Beautiful artwork, if I do say so myself. It kind of reminds me of Pokemon Tournament for some reason. Because of the stats he's in. Yeah, I said he. I'm assuming the gender. So what? Alrighty, guys. So I got five packs right here. I'm going to be using the scissors. because. Oh my god, I swear. If I cut one of these cards off... I am legit gonna cry and, you know, play myself in this video if I accidentally cut a card. Okay, guys, let's do one to the front and let's see what we get. We got a Buzzwool. What is this dude's name? Grottle. Pretty sure it's Grottle. Mesprit. Psychic Energy. Ooh, that artwork, guys. Yo, I can't even front. That artwork looks sick. We got a Dusk Main. Necrozma. AKA a regular Ultra Beast. <laughs> Yo, that artwork. That was really, really cool, honestly. Okay, let's get into the next pack, though, because we got a ton more packs to open up. We got a Rotom. Just a regular Rotom, guys. No more Mo Rotoms, Fridge Rotoms, Beer Rotom, Poop Rotom, etc. We got a regular little Rotom. That's actually really cool. We got Monferno. Monferno, you, you're hella ugly, Monferno. Look at that face. I'm gonna stop, though. I'm gonna stop. We got a Psychic Energy and a Looker. Looker's in this set as well. Like I said, these are just Japanese sets. So, not all of the cards you see in this set are gonna be in the official, you know, Forbidden Light set list. Because I know there's, like, Greninja GX and whatnot in the brand new set. We got a Magneton, Water Energy, and a Choice Ban. What? Choice Band's in the cut? Okay, I was not expecting that. I was literally not expecting a Choice Band, but, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it all day, every day. Oh, I see something in this pack. I see something. Let's get it, man. We got a Toxicroak. Dewpiter. We got a Mesprit. Fighting Energy. And the final card in this booster pack is gonna be... Wait, before I say it, go ahead and make a guess in the comments. Actually, you can't because you don't know what's in this set. It's brand new. But make a guess anyways. We got a Lucario G... Oh my god. Yo, that artwork. What? Is that air, like, going around the card? Or maybe that's its aura. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. Check that out. Beautiful, beautiful card. I'm curious on what this GX attack does. Because it has a base attack of 30 damage. That sounds terrible, but I'm pretty sure... It's going to make up for it, you know, with the effects of the attack and whatnot. But let's get into the next pack. I'm not sure what's the ratio on Ultra Rares for a Japanese box. Because I've never opened one before, so I'm not sure how many you're supposed to get. And we got this wrestler right here. The Ghetto Nacho Libre right here. Bolt like knockoff. I don't know. We got a Yuxi. We got a Chimchar. Lightning Energy and an Aqua Patch. Okay. A weird selection for, you know, like, trainers and whatnot, but I'm not complaining. You know, we're getting some brand new GXs. How many packs do we got left, though? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine booster packs left. So let's go ahead and do four, and let's save the last five for last, because I want to do, you know, stacks and stacks and stacks as I open these up. Alrighty, guys, so let's be careful and open these packs up, because I do not want to cut them. I do not want to cut them. But in the comments down below, guys, who is your favorite Pokemon from Sun and Moon? Personally, it's kind of hard to say who's my favorite. I kind of want to say Beware, but there's a lot more Pokemon that I really like from Sun and Moon. You know, not like your base Vulpix, not like your Alolan types. But guys, we got a Zerkatree Ultra Beast right here. Yo, what's that artwork? It looks kind of interesting. It kind of reminds me of like a, a sci-fi anime or something like that. I'm be real with you guys. That's what it reminds me of. But as I was saying, there's a lot of Pokemon that I like and dislike from Sun and Moon. But off the top of my head, I kind of want to say Salazzle is my favorite from Sun and Moon, honestly. Because I just love the fact that it's a fire lizard, like a salamander and whatnot. But we got a Gibble. What? Ooh, we got something. Guys, we got something. Let's see what it is. Ooh, we got a Prism Star. What is it, though? What is this Prism Star? I have no idea, guys. I legit have no idea. 
but let's go ahead and slave it up anyways because it is a prism star nonetheless let's get into the next pack though i'm pretty sure we just hit our cap i think we only get like five ultra rares or something like that because there's only 20 packs so i highly highly doubt that we're gonna get a ton more ultra rares but we got five packs left who knows we might get like an error box and get like 10 ultra rares in these five packs but that's kind of highly unlikely i'm kind of reaching on that but oh well let's get into these and let's see what we get and these final packs guys it has been an extremely fun opening like i said this is the ooh, this is a fighting type what what how the hell is this torterra a fighting type it's originally a steel and grass type no no that's empoleon yo it is a fighting type what that just blew my mind is it a fighting type? oh my god i'm confusing myself guys in the comments down below what is the dual type of Torterra? Because I know Empoleon is water and steel, and Fernape is fire and fighting. So what the hell is this guy? Is it ground? Oh, it's ground! It's ground. I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, guys, I'm gonna do my research after this video because I can't. Ooh, that Garchomp though. With Cynthia, we have baby girl in the background. What's I see you, girl. I see you back there with the Garchomp. You know, Cynthia was the bomb in diamond and pearl one of the best champions of all time honestly the music cynthia had was epic as well but we got a prim plup lightning energy and we got a blend energy right here guys so we got two packs left we actually have three packs left we don't have two i played myself but let's see if we can get something else to end things off with a banger guys we got a fighting energy and a looker man you're nosy you're always looking get it because his name is looker no no <laughs> okay i'm gonna stop Alrighty, guys second to last pack we got an enhanced hammer no that is a special hammer no that is i have no idea guys i forgot the name i forgot the name it is an enhanced hammer i believe yo we got empoleon the steel type empoleon such a beast pokemon but last pack, everybody. Can we get some last pack magic? Let's find out. We got a Zerka Tree, Snover, Gabite, Lightning Energy, and a frying pan to cook them eggs, boy. Or if you want to make bacon, you know, you can use this frying pan and, you know, make a little something in the kitchen. Water whipping. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. But guys, check out this bulk. It's so weird to see white bordered cards, honestly. But the fact that these are all hollows, that's crazy. That is absolutely crazy, everybody. Without further ado, let's go ahead and do a quick recap of what we got. And let's see how it goes, guys. So we got one Prism Star right here. We got Dialga GX. We got Polkia GX. We got Lucario GX and Lucario full freaking art absolutely amazing i'm satisfied with any pulls because these cards are amazing like lucario gx for real without further ado guys if you did enjoy this video smash that like button and like i said if this video reaches 1000 likes i will do something special with these cards for you guys and don't think that i forgot about the vintage giveaway because that is coming very 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 soon and by very soon i'm talking about tomorrow or the day after tomorrow because i haven't had time to record it so i might just do it on like the community tab and just announce the winners there do like a short little video on the community tab and you know it's a wrap like that without further ado guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace